Hey guys, one of the most important things when you're looking to invest in Dubai real estate or anywhere else in the world or do anything else in life that has certain meaning, perhaps looking to buy a yacht or a private aeroplane, is to list the services of a specialist, an expert who's going to guide you through the ups, the downs, the loopholes, the tricks, and offer you the tips that are going to benefit you, okay? Now I'm going to share my experience on how you come to finding that expert and how you assess an expert, okay? And how to follow their advice. Before that, show real. All right, welcome back. Here's the thing, here's something I've learned throughout my journey of being mentored, mentoring other people's, and you know, being kind of like a lifelong learner because I like to learn uh, from people who have more knowledge than me in certain areas. Now, granted in Dubai real estate, I've been involved 10 plus years, coming up to 15 years, uh, started in Toronto, Canada, so on and so forth. I would consider myself to be a specialist or an expert, but you don't have to take my word for it. I'm just here sharing a few ground rules. Let's not call them ground, let's not call them rules, but let's just call them general ground, basic foundational principles, so to speak, that you can use in any area or any field, and especially if you're going to be buying real estate in Dubai, okay? And if you're looking to enlist the expertise of an expert. Here's the deal, okay? I'm gonna quote uh, or bring you a story from, um, from Malcolm Gladwell's book called uh, Blink, okay? The art of thinking without thinking. Here's essentially what he makes, uh, here's what essentially he makes a case for in this book. Essentially speaking, he says, for some people, because they've been in certain fields of expertise or they've conducted so much research for five, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years, and so on and so forth, they can essentially make a subconscious or an unconscious decision about something being of benefit or not being of benefit literally in the blink of an eye. They can do it within a fraction of a second, okay? For instance, uh, I don't remember the doctor or the psychiatrist's name, but he interviewed two psychiatrists who over a period, I think, of 40 years, interviewed 90 couples, 90 couples, and basically, essentially, the psychiatrist said that within the first 15 minutes, if we record their interview, and watch it in the first 15 minutes we can we have they have a 90 percent prediction rate of whether this couple's marriage is going to last or they should both be hiring good lawyers uh, because they're going to end up in divorce anyways there was about four traits that they identified if they were present in any marriage the likelihood of that marriage lasting was very difficult and there's another story that he, he shares about. Um, this is, you know, I think in 1983, somebody approached the Getty Museum uh, in California. They were new in terms of being a museum on the block. They had a lot of money and they wanted to make a splash in the art world by acquiring something that was very unique, ancient, uh, and, you know, sort of do a, an exhibition uh, so that the world would recognize the Getty in California as this preeminent museum. Somebody approached them with a Greek statue called a Kouros, okay, K-O-U-R-O-S, a Kouros. And essentially speaking, what happened is, you know, there's only about 200, they're man size statues of a male, naked male, I think. Uh, but there's about 200, 200, in existence around the world they're from the 600 bc or ad or ce I don't know, 600 before uh even jesus walked on earth okay so they're pretty pretty darn old okay and here's a man who approached them with this kuros that was in pretty good state right the getty museum had to have it if it was the real genuine thing the absolutely had to have it. They enlisted expertise from all across the world, paid about $10 million just to verify the authenticity of this statue, and then went into negotiations and acquired it, okay? And then they held an exhibition, so on and so forth. Here's the thing. 
when they sent the Kuros around the globe or when they had um, experts come and visit the museum, there were a few experts who were, uh, you know, in Greek mythology and Greek statues, they were experts that spent 40, 50 years in this area. Essentially speaking, they looked at the statue and in a blink of a second, a fraction of a second, they knew it's not true, it's not real something's fake about it. They couldn't obviously pinpoint and prove it to the Getty immediately, but they knew something was off, okay? How do I link this to real estate when you're doing real estate development? Look, if you enlist an expert, it could be me or anybody else, you know, with 10 plus years of experience. You gotta remember, we've, I'm an, I'm an investor myself in 2008. I've made money, lost money, and on some transactions, I've made no money. I've helped tons of other investors invest, and you know, I'm not gonna tell them everybody makes money. Sometimes they've made money, sometimes they've lost money. So I've got these thousands of case studies and scenarios that I've been through. So generally speaking, when I look at a developer or a development or an apartment or a situation, it's essentially speaking, instantaneously I can make a, I'm not going to say I can make the right judgment, but I've got a gut feeling that if I'm then working with an investor on a, a um, so to speak, on an exclusive mandate basis, I'm going to logically try to explain it to the investor, okay? I get the gut feeling something's off, then I try to logically explain it. But beyond that, if you go to the market and then lift, uh, you know, and say, oh yeah, maybe you're wrong, I still need to make this investment. Hey, you know what, do it at your own risk, and I would obviously welcome you succeeding at that, but you gotta recognize that specialists, experts, sometimes we get a gut feeling and we know that there are too many red flags to move forward with an investment, or we know that this investment is much better than something else. So what am I essentially saying? Look, while I always tell people, don't go for the gut, shoot for the hip approach, there are experts out there whose gut decision-making prowess you should rely on as long as they can back it with logical uh, arguments to support it. So one of the things that made the Kuros um, fool a lot of specialists was that there is something about um, a certain layer of dust that accumulates on a statue uh, that makes it old. If you take a, Microsoft and in, a microscope and investigate it, you're going to have to, essentially speaking, you know, it's, it's this thin, thin layer of moss or dust that develops on a statue over hundreds and hundreds of centuries. You can't get it other, otherwise, right? You can't get it otherwise. But guess what happened? That Kuros turned out to be a fake. And do you know how they had managed to get that special layer of dust on the statue? Apparently, if you have decomposing really old potato peels, and you put them on a statue for a number of days, uh, you might end up having that thin layer of dust that can fool microscopes, uh, microscopes, right? Uh, so the point I'm trying to make is, look, specialists and experts have a certain way of working, but when you're working with one, you know, they might make a gut decision on explaining to you that this is good or this is bad. If you'd like, ask them for a logical explanation, but do not go beyond a certain limit to argue uh, and if you do, then, you know, wish you all the best anyways. All right. Um, hit the subscribe button, press the bell icon. Uh, something happens to the algorithm and it gets shared with other people if you uh, press like and make a comment. If you do have questions, more than welcome to ask me and I do answer them as well. Ciao for now. Bye. Okay, guys. So thanks for watching. My name again is Fahad Daud. I've been doing this for 14 plus years. I started in 2006 in Toronto, Canada. And since 2007, I've been doing this in Dubai. I generally talk about real estate, your life, my life, and our path to allowing financial bliss coming to us. If you want to work with me, such as buy a property in Dubai or you need general advice, you can hit me up on the con in the contact form below. If you've liked this video, I'd appreciate if you subscribe, press the bell icon, and hit the like button and share it with other friends. Ciao for now.